Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you are new, welcome. My name is Trisha. I'm so glad to have you. Today, I wanted to share three inexpensive Z Gallery inspired projects that I believe that you can do. And all you need to do is just try. Believe in your ability, try something that's out of your comfort zone. You got this. Okay, so this is the first project I wanted to share with you. This is called the Joey De Verre and it's at Z Gallery. And right now it's going for $418.99. It's a beautiful piece. This is a big one, but I wanted to show you something smaller that you could do. For this project, I used a 10 inch by 20 inch canvas and I actually used three of them. You can use whatever size that you would like. Um, I'm going to use three colors. I'm going to use the turquoise color as well as this dark gray and white color by Craftsmart. So the first thing that I'm going to do is just paint the canvases, um, probably like three fourths of it with the turquoise color. And then I painted the other section with the gray color. When I look at the inspirational piece, I see um, streaks of white, so I'm going to go ahead and add that to my painting as well. And I'm doing this both to the turquoise and the gray side. I feel like I went a little bit too far with the white so I'm going to go back over it with the turquoise as well as the gray and I just wanted to see just a hint of the white. After the paint dried, I mixed up a little bit of resin and I'm just going to pour it into a cup. So the first thing I'm going to add in the resin is the silver metallic mica powder. Also, I'm going to add a lot of glitter in there as well. After I mixed it up, I just poured it along the intersection between the gray and the turquoise. Now I'm just going to spread it out a bit. I want the painting to have a lot of texture, so I'm just going to pour the glitter on top as well. Afterwards, I let it dry for about 24 hours and then it was finished. So the second project I want to share with you is the Gramercy Bowl. It is going for $78.99. This is a project you can absolutely do. It is so simple. Let me show you the steps. For this project, you will need a clear bowl, and I got this from the Dollar Tree. But if you don't have a Dollar Tree, I'm sure you can find one at your nearest store. You will also need a bag of marbles, and I got this from the Dollar Tree as well, but you can find this at a craft store. To make sure there's no debris, I am going to just wipe it down with alcohol on the inside and the outside. Off camera, I went ahead and sprayed the inside of the bowl with this Rust-Oleum Mirror Effect spray paint. Afterwards, I just started gluing on the marbles with hot glue. After 10 minutes, I flipped the bowl over and I proceeded to spray paint it with the Mirror Effect spray paint. After it dried, here's how it looked. 
The last project I want to share with you is the Makati plaque. It is $139.95. This is a really cool project that is very functional that you could use um, in a number of places. And I wanna go ahead and show you the steps. So your first step is to remove the contents from the frame. And of course I went to Dollar Tree for my frame. I got an eight by 10 picture frame and it has some depth to it. So. Uh, make sure you get the one that is a little bit deeper than the other one. So you want to just remove the tabs on the back side of it and just remove all of the contents, the cardboard, the sheet of paper that's in there as well as the glass. I wanted to share the decorative placemats that I purchased. The first one was from At Home, and that is an actual store for the ones that are not familiar with that, as well as this one came from Walmart, and I believe it was only 98 cents. So you can get any decorative placemats of your choosing for this project. So what you wanna do is flip it over, and then take the sheet that came in the frame and place it on top and just get a pen or marker and trace an outline of the sheet. Next, take your scissors and just cut out the outline that you just made. In order to create our base, we will need to glue two blocks together. I purchased a small and a large block from Michaels. The small block is five inches by five inches and the large block is 6.5 by 6.5 inches. And all you need to do is center the small block on top of the larger one and draw an outline. After you do that, we're going to flip over the smaller block and proceed to put glue on there. And guess what glue that I'm using? Of course, Rapid Fuse Wood Adhesive because it's quick, it dries in 30 seconds, and it cures in 30 minutes. You can't beat it, guys. You gotta try it. Don't knock it until you try it. After you put the glue on the back of it, just flip it over and place it exactly where you have the outline. After the glue has dried, you want to sand the edges. I know sometimes when you purchase these blocks, it has like a rough edge. You don't want that uh, because you'll see it once you start painting. So after you've done that, we are going to spray paint. We're going to take it outside to a well-ventilated area and you can spray paint it uh, following the instructions on the back of the can and paint it the color of your choice. I am going to use white as well as black for this project. Next, you want to add the contents back into the frame. First, you want to place the glass in there, followed by the placemat that you just cut, and then the backing that comes with it. You don't have to put the backing on it if you decide not to and just want it see-through. You just use your hot glue gun. So hot glue the glass to the frame and then hot glue the placemat to the glass. And that's what it should look like. And the last step is to glue the frame and base together. All you need to do is just put a bead of hot glue on the top of the base and place the frame on top and press down. And you're finished. This was a very easy project to do. It took less than two hours and it was only because I had to wait for the paint to dry. Uh, I believe this could be a functional item. You can use it to put your sticky notes on there, put photos of your family, or your significant other. If you're thinking like, where in the world am I gonna put this item? You can put it on your desk at home or in the office. You can put it on your nightstand, your dresser, in the living room, um, you know, side tables or something like that. Guys, the possibilities are endless. This is very customizable. So I hope that you guys enjoyed the project as much as I did. I would love to hear from you. What are some tips that you would have done um, to enhance this project or other projects that may work um, with the materials? I would love to hear what you have to say. Just drop it in the comment section below. These are three inexpensive DIYs you can absolutely do. I believe in you, just believe in yourself. Until next time, have a great week.